Now, there's several things to look for when you're trying to pick out a cowboy boot. There are a lot of different factors to take into account, and in this video, I'm going to try to walk you through them and help you make a more educated decision on what to buy. So the first thing is your size. You want to make sure that you get the size right because if it doesn't feel good walking out of the store, it's either going to take a very long time to feel good or it's never going to feel good at all. There are a few things that you can do to help with that, like wearing thick socks, getting insoles in there so you can help fill in the gaps if your boot is a little too big, but if your boot is too small, it's going to be real hard to get that thing to fit you right. You want to make sure that it's snug right here at the instep, not tight, but snug. You want to make sure that your toes are not touching up here because this can change. It's possible, but up here, if your toes are cramped in that toe box, it is never going to be good for you and you're going to have tons of problems. Don't do it. <laughs> Ball the foot needs to be snug, same with the instep. And with your heel, you want to make sure you have at least about that much heel slip and that will change over time as the boot breaks in it's gonna move with your foot if your foot is too tight in here it's gonna rub on the back of the heel here and it's just not gonna be good you're gonna get blisters on blisters on blisters on blisters I know I have done that even in this boot I have but I did break it in and then this thing fits like a dream now all right, the next thing to look for is, is it gonna be a rubber sole or is it gonna be a leather sole? So with the rubber sole, it's gonna have a larger footprint. And by that, I mean the welt and uh, the rubber is gonna be a lot thicker than the uh, leather sole. It's gonna have a smaller profile. With this rubber sole, you can go longer with it without resoling than a leather sole. Sometimes with the rubber soles, they're constructed in a way that a cobbler cannot take them off and resole them with a leather sole you can get it resold uh, first time they probably give you a half sole where they cut it here and then they put a new sole on then it'll give you life whenever that one's out they'll give you a full sole with leather soles um, these are great for going out dancing they're great for everyday walking at first they're gonna be pretty slippery and if you don't if you don't know how to walk with these you're gonna fall and bust your ass especially when it's wet I, I've come very close to that you got to be careful when wearing these with the rubber soles you don't have to be as as worried but if you're going out dancing are gonna be kind of hard to dance with because they don't glide across the dance floor and also with soles you have the end sole and with this Tacovas, it's a non removable leather insole and it also has a cork bed lining in there so as you're walking it's forming to your foot I like that uh, it's it lasts a lot longer than a than a removable foam insole as you can see I've worn through these pretty 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 bad and these as you can see it looks brand new The only reason why I put insoles in there is because I didn't get the right size and I needed to put an insole in there so my foot would fit right. I thought I opened a Budweiser, not this beer. Alright, so you figured out your size, you figured out the sole. Now you also want to figure out what kind of toe. So this is a meter round, almost a J toe. And me personally, that's what I like to wear. But they also have square toes, they have round toes, they have snip toe, French toe, there's a bunch of different toes. And honestly, it's up to preference, but it could also have to do with the sizing. The wide square toe, a lot of people like it because you can fit your toes in there better. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, that one's more up to preference. Your next step would be the heel. I like a taller, underslung cowboy heel. I love the silhouette of it and I like the way it walks but you may not like that you may like a shorter heel probably because you got knee problems or something and 
more power to you. They're great because you can walk on them for hours on end without your feet getting tired. You also got to think, what kind of leather do you want for your boot? So with the calf, bull, and cowhide, all you know come from cows, but they all have different characteristics. And you can also have them with the rough in or the rough out. And rough out and suede are technically a little different, but I'm not going to get into that right now. With suede, they're a little tougher to clean. I, as you can see, I have some stains on there to just have them come out yet. But with this uh, cowhide, uh, I need to clean it. But all you have to do is, you know, get the saddle soap, get the conditioner, and get some polish. Looks brand new. You can also have exotics, you can have elephant, kangaroo, you can have stingray, shark, caiman, alligator, crocodile, uh, and you can also have prints on calf skin, and they are a lot cheaper, easier to, ma uh, easier to maintain, and they look pretty good, but a lot of prints, I would just rather get the real thing. It would be a little more expensive, but I think it would be worth it. And the color of the boot really depends on your preference. You got a belt that fit matches it? Yeah? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> and another thing to look for is the lining inside the cowboy boot. And that actually does make a difference. Um, with this, the seams have been covered over, so it's not going to be rubbing on you. With, with this, you can see the seams are still there. They've been flattened a little bit, but they're still inside the boot. So with the leather lining, it's going to be really soft, really comfortable to wear, and it's not going to be as it's not going to trap heat as much as a uh, cloth lining would. So it'd be better in the summer to wear. Well, I believe that's it for this video. Uh, let me know if I've forgotten anything, and uh, if this helped you, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, leave a like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. And uh, I'll see y'all next time.